Hello. Hello. All right, you guys, let's see if you're ready for this amazing EKG quiz we're having on Friday, which is in two days. Two days. Let's see if you're ready. All right. I'm going to put an EKG on the screen, and you guys tell me what it is. I'm not going to have any name on it. You guys ready? Lift off. Lift off. Okay, let me close this folder real quick. Let's go to this one. All right. Oh, wait. It says it on the title. Dang it. Okay, let me shuffle them. Let me shuffle them. Let me shuffle them. All right. What is this? See if they know it, or if you know it, if you're watching this video later. What is this? What, what is it? You're very close. Should I accept that answer, you guys? VTAC. You got it. VTAC. If you said VTAC, then you are correct. If you said anything else, you are wrong. It's a tachycardia. This one, you can be alive or dead. That's the unique one, unique thing about it. Remember, I told you guys a story about. The guy who had VTAC, he was eating at a very nice Chinese food restaurant. This is the only time I've seen VTAC in someone who's alive. Everyone else I've seen VTAC in has been dead. So what do we do for VTAC? CPR. CPR and shock them. Unless they're alive, then don't do CPR. Okay. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. What about this one? What is this? Does anyone know? Roman. A word bank, it's, it's, well, it's called flatline, but there's an actual name for it. No, you can't give this, this one person giving all the answers. Okay, I'll give you some options. I'll give you some, yeah, I'll give you some options. Okay, V-fib, V-tac, normal sinus rhythm, asystole. Dang, he said asystole, he's right. All right, if you said asystole at home, you are correct. This is cheesy, huh? It's all right. You know what? Is it? It's extra. Okay. No cap, Bucky. <laughs> okay. So let's see. What is this? Does anyone know? It's not V anything. I'll give you that hint. It's not ventricular. This is not a... No, it's not a normal sinus. It's close to a normal sinus, but it's too slow. So what would that be? Anyone know? Why are you ruining my video with jokes and laughing? This is not supposed to be a happy moment. This is supposed to be very serious. Huh? Sinus Brady. Thank you to the same person who's given us all the other answers. Actually, oh, I'm sorry, Roman. Okay. Sinus bradycardia because it's too slow. Much like a turtle walks too slow. Sinus bradycardia. I hope you're paying attention, you guys. We're going to have a quiz on this in two days. And I cannot help you. I'm literally going to just say, you know what? You're on your own to save people's lives with this EKG quiz. All right. Sinus brady. What did you say, Jason? Okay. All right. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. All right. What did you say? V -fib. v fib, you got it. This one, they're no. always dead. They're always dead. You cannot be alive with V fib. And I'm not fibbing when I say that. <laughs> what? Well, I'm sorry, but this is an emergency medical class, so it's not always happiness. But you're right, it is kind of morbid. The good news is if they have this, you can still shock them and hopefully their heart will go back to normal but if not then i don't know what to say all right what else let's see wait what do we we already did this one how about this one does anyone know this one might be a little bit more difficult the good news is yeah the good news is this person is probably very stable they're fine but their heart is probably just going a little too fast but other than that they're doing great i would say a lot of you guys probably have this when you drink all your red bulls and Drink your, coffee. wait, drink your Red Bulls and coffee and eat like donuts and pancakes for breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. Coffee. Coffee. Monster. Coffee. What? 
is this called? Does anyone know? I need to list the words. You guys need a word bank? Yeah. yeah okay. No, real quick. I VTAC, no. VTAC, VFib, asystole, sinus tac, sinus brady. No, brady's too slow. Sinus tac, too fast. That is correct. Brady is slow. Tachy is fast. Tac, tachycardia. That's short for tachycardia. Just like remember in your car, you have a tachometer when you're doing like street racing, you have a, a tachometer and you're like, and then you roll up to the person and you like, and then you roll your window down and you're like, let's race for pink slips. And then you're like, and your tachometer's going, and you're like fast enough. You're, why are you guys making fun of me? I'm trying to give an analogy here. Well, you come up with a better example. Let's hear your example. Oh, you don't have one. Okay, no problem. All right. <laughs> Anyways, don't act like you guys haven't seen the Fast and Furious movies. I've only seen the first one because I refuse to watch nine sequels that's basically the same story over and over again, right? All right, except for Tokyo Drift. That one's different. Right. Um, you know what? Actually, this one is sinus tach. It doesn't matter. This is sinus tachycardia. I'll accept this one was actually sinus tack, but it's also normal sinus. It looks like a normal sinus. All right. And last but not least, well, let me ask you guys a question. Let's say that you see this one. It looks like sinus Brady, right? But you check the person and they have no pulse. Then what would you call this? What? P-E-A, pulseless electrical activity. You know what I mean? Pulseless electrical activity. That means they have no pulse. All right. Now that I've thoroughly bored you guys to death, let's just, I'm going to show you my other folder, which has the ones that are already marked. Remember, I made these for you guys and I posted them in the Google Classroom. I bet, well, let me ask you guys by show of hands, no lying, tell the truth. How many of you actually looked at this? One person. Okay. One person out of 30, so that's not good. I wonder if when I teach college later in life, if people will actually look at what I post in the Google Classroom. All right. At the last second. Okay, this is a systole right here. Flatline. No pulse, no breathing. CPR right now, please. Like I showed in this picture. Do CPR. All right, the next one is normal sinus. That is just a normal heartbeat. Thumbs up. Everybody's happy. Everybody's okay. You can resume your normal life because you're happy because you're alive, right? In order to be a normal sinus, it has to have P waves and it has to have narrow QRSs. This right here, you guys, is a normal P Q R S T. You get the picture. PEA is pulseless electrical activity. This is all review. We talked about this the last time. PEA means that they don't have a pulse. The first word in PEA is pulseless, meaning no pulse. They're not alive. All right. So if somebody's moving around talking to you, trust me, they are not in PEA. Nope. Can't happen. All right. Sinus Brady is too slow. There's the Brady bunch. There's the turtle. Here's the P wave. Everything looks good. It has a QRS, it has a P wave, it has a T wave, but it's going way too slow. Instead of being 60 to 100 beats per minute, it's probably like, this is probably like 30 beats per minute. That's not good. All right, sinus tachycardia, which is too fast. Still has the P wave, still has the QRS, but it's going over 100 beats per minute. This is usually not life-threatening. It's not a big deal. Unless they have symptoms and it's bothering them. Like, my heart is racing. I don't understand what's happening. I feel like my heart's going to pop out of my chest. It's going so fast. Okay, let me look at your EKG, and it's like 130 beats a minute, and you're like sitting on the couch watching Netflix. Something might be wrong. Maybe you drink five Red Bulls or Monsters. Who drinks a lot of Red Bull or Monster or what's the other one called? What's the, What is that new energy drink? Bang. Yeah, how, how many... The bang is bomb. I don't get bang is bomb. Okay, I'm gonna have to get a dictionary to translate 
But seriously, like, how many? I'm just kidding. <laughs> bang is bomb. How many bangs do you drink per day? I don't drink it every day, but like, if I drink one, it's just like one. And does your heart rate increase? Do you feel like your heart's racing after you drink it? Nah, I just feel more awake. Does anybody here drink a lot of energy drinks? I anybody? Have when I was working. How many? Like at least two times, two a day. Damn. And do you feel like your heart's racing when you drink? Like I'll, like, I'll be so tired and I drink it and, like, my energy would go up and, like, I would just be, like, doing whatever I need to do, just fast, basically, and then I start crashing down and then do another one and go back up. And you drink another one? Do you feel like you can go to sleep that night? Uh, yeah, I could go to sleep. It's just I need to, like, move around just to get the energy out of All right. Gotcha. All right. This one is V-Fib. You guys all know this one. This is just basically chaotic. And if you're doing that worksheet, there's a question that says quivering. The heart is quivering. That's this one, V-Fib. Again, CPR and AED, VTAC. I already talked about that one. Basically, most of the time, they're not alive. So CPR, AED. That's it. End of video. Any questions before we go? Any questions? Any questions? The quiz is on Friday. That's two days from now. And no, I can't help you. You have to do this yourself. Will it be fill in the blank? Will it be multiple choice? I have not answered that question to myself yet. I'm trying to decide. There's a part of me that just wants to make it just blank EKGs and you have to fill in the blank of what it is. But I know that a lot of people might not pass that. I might give you a word bank. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. All right, you guys. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Adios. And if you're watching this later in the day, we recorded this in the first period. It's pretty awesome. Bye, class. All right. Goodbye. Everybody say bye. Bye, class. Bye.